I woke up hazy on a Sunday and started my morning ritual, slowly waking up next to my partner, my family, staring at my cell phone light, checking Facebook. That's when I heard that there had been another shooting. My heart broke for the people lost, but it wasn't until hours later that they revealed the location. Pulse Nightclub, a gay bar in Orlando and on Latinx night. That night, 202 bullets ripped through my family while they danced to the beat of their favorite Latinx music. The popping mimicked the drop of a bass. So many people thought it was part of the music that they didn't even know to run. The worst massacre in US history, they said. I watched my television with tears in my eyes as black and brown faces rolled across the screen. I watched as they told the stories of the victims, almost like they had to humanize them, had to convince me that their death was a tragedy. Like, if he hadn't been someone's son, it wouldn't leave this hole in the world. As if they hadn't been someone's partner, there wouldn't be empty hands reaching out to hold theirs. As if he hadn't sang gospel, no one would be there to mourn. I went to a vigil in my city where we could come together for comfort. Over 2,000 people gathered to read the names, to stand in the name of peace, to ask for love, to conquer all. I cried as my partner held me, but I never dared let myself blink. All I could think of was how we were by the stage in a valley. All I could think of was the different vantage points. All I could picture was how quickly things could go wrong. All I could feel was a loss of safety, of home, a family. As a queer person, a gay bar is more than a bar. It was the first place I could hold hands with the person I loved. It was a place where I could dance like no one was watching. A place where I could start to rebuild my broken, long forgotten concept of family. A place where I didn't have to tell my aunt, she's my roommate <coughs> of four years. It was. It was a shelter from a world that told me that I was sick, that I was damaged, that I was wrong. It was a hiding place among the echoes of, we don't want you here. A church that provided sanctuary in my hour of need. It was a place to celebrate, to love, to be. It was. It was until 202 bullets ripped through flesh and bone and heart and soul, reminding me that when you are queer, there are no safe spaces. Only spaces you can pray for peace. Only friends who hold you and remind you that you are loved. Only lovers willing to throw themselves in harm's way and mothers willing to lay down their lives. Only this moment, only this undeniable love. As a queer person, you know what family means. The people who are always there and I don't need a bar to identify you. I see you, Ken. I see you, queer girl, afraid to say I love you. I see you, young gay boy, terrified to notice you are really into drag race. I see you, young trans woman, terrified to walk alone. I see you, non-binary person, explaining how gender works for the 8,722nd time. I see you, queer, trans, people of color, kin left at the margins. I see you. I love you. Come find me and let's be a family they can never tear apart.